بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں ٹوڈے آن تھرٹینتھ مارچ ٹو تھاؤزنڈ ٹوینٹی ٹو سنڈے پی پی ایس سی پنجاب پبلک سروس کمیشن کنڈکٹیڈ آ ریٹرن ٹیسٹ فار دا پوسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹیشین بی ایس ایٹین ڈیٹ واز ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹیسٹ فار آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف اسٹیٹسٹکس آل دا کوشچنز ور امپورٹنٹ ٹیکنیکل ٹریکی اینڈ کانسیپچول دیر واز اے لیول آف ایف ایس سی آئی سی ایس بی ایس سی ایم ایس سی آل کوشچنز آر ویری اسینشیل فار ایوری ریٹرن ٹیسٹ آف اسٹیٹسٹکس آئی ول ڈسکس امپورٹنٹ اسٹیٹسٹکس کوشچن ود یو اسٹوڈنٹس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹو ڈیز وائٹل اینڈ امپورٹنٹ لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنز آف دا نیکسٹ امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز لیٹ اسٹارٹ کوشچن نمبر ون از A very important question. I have discussed many times summation x minus x bar. The sum of the values when the deviation, the sum of the deviation of the values when taken from mean, it is always equal to zero. That is a very important question. And you can learn more to concepts summation x minus x bar whole square. The sum of the square of the deviations of the values from their mean, it is minimum. And the third concept is also very important. The sum of the absolute deviation taken from median is minimum. A very important concept for all the papers. Next question is a very important one. If an estimator is unbiased, we know unbiased means expectation of x bar is equal to mu. An estimator is said to be unbiased if its expectation will be equal to the population parameter. And what is the question? If an estimator is unbiased, it must be consistent, it must be efficient, it must be not consistent. Dear students, it is not necessary. But that is necessary if an estimator is efficient. It must be unbiased. But it is not necessary if an estimator is unbiased, it must be consistent or it must be efficient. A very important concept. Next question is correlation coefficient is given and that is R is equal to 0.8. And then the question is how much variation in the response variable, in the dependent variable, in the regressor has been explained by all the independent variables, all the explanatory variables, all the regressors are very important and we know. 0.8 will not be the correct option. 80% will not be the correct option because we are to calculate R square and that is 0.8 multiplied by 0.8, 0.64 and it is indicating that indicating that 64% variation in the dependent variable. For example, we are interested in the production of wheat. It is our response variable Y and all the independent variables we have. Then 64% variation in the production of wheat, in the production of sugar cane, in the production of rice, in the production of cotton has been explained by all the independent explanatory variables. A very important question. Next question is, if we have the parametric tests, there is the assumption of, there is the condition of normality. And if we have non-parametric tests, For example, we have sign test, we have Wilcoxon signed rank test, we have Man Whitney U test, we have run test. In all these tests, they are also called distribution free test. There is not the condition of normality, a very important. Next question is if we are to test that null hypothesis, sigma 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square. Whenever you are testing the two variances of the two populations, which test is used? We use F test, a very important one. And the next question is, question number six, if K is equal to five, if there are five number of treatments and we know the null hypothesis will be mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 is equal to mu4 is equal to mu5, H naught is this much, all five means are equal. All the means of five treatments are equal. They can be fertilizer, DAP, urea, phosphate, potash and others. And we have to check their effect on the production of wheat. And the hypothesis will be mu1 is equal to mu2, mu3, mu4 and mu5. But the question is, what is H1? A very important one. H1 will be at least two means 
of the treatments will not be equal at least will be the correct option actually at least two means if in the paper if the question is k is equal to six k is equal to seven k is equal to eight k is equal to four then the same answer will be the correct one h1 will be at least two means of the treatments are not equal they are unequal a very important one next question is mean of the hypergeometric distribution we know mean of binomial is np mean of hyper is also this much but p will be k over n k is the number of favorable in which we are interested capital n is the whole population small n is the selected values and k is the number of values in which we are interested and k can be m any alphabet can be given n is 100 small n is 20 and k is 25 for example it is m mean will be nk over capital n 20 into 25 over 100 25 ones are 25 fours are 4 ones are 4 fives are 5 will be the correct option in the exam a very important concept in Poisson distribution we know its parameter is lambda its mean is also equal to lambda its variance is always equal to lambda its k1 commulant 1 k2 is equal to k3 is equal to lambda and we know that its value can never ever be zero a very important one its range is zero to infinity a very important question then the next question is Median is what? Median is measure of location. Median is measure of central tendency. Mean, median, mode, geometric mean, and harmonic mean are also are called measures of central tendency. They are measures of location. They are dependent upon origin and scale. They are affected by plus, minus, multiply, and divide. The correct option is median is measure of location. Next question is very important. Beta cap is given. It is 6.3. And standard error of beta cap is given it is 2.1 and what is the value of the test statistic we know that will be beta cap minus beta over standard error of beta cap 6.3 over 2.1 3.0 will be the correct option in the exam a very important question then the next question is if 10% people are interested in iPhone you can say that it is P it is 0.1 Whenever some percentage is given in the exam, the past experience is given in the exam, it means it is P. 20% of the people are of the age of 80 years, more than 80 years, that will be P, 0 0.2. Then the question is, N is 200 and P X is 40, pe 40 people are interested in iPhone. Out of 200, 40 are interested in iPhone. Then P cap will be X over N. And the question is, what is the value of Z statistic? Test statistic that will be P cap minus P over P cap Q cap over N under the root. With the help of this formula, you will have to calculate the value of the test statistic. A very important one. Then the next one is, most commonly used index number is price index number a very important one then the next one is mean is the central value mean is the measure of central value then the next one is if r is equal to 1 if r is equal to 1 it means that we have perfect positive correlation if r is equal to minus 1 we have perfect negative correlation if r is equal to 0 it means that we do not we the, the variables are not linearly correlated there can be curve linear they can be quadratic they can be parabolic then the next question is a very important one we have observed paired observations before after for example 1 2 3 4 5 2 4 6 8 10 there are some soldiers, there are five soldiers. You have weighted them before the dose, before the training and after the training. And what will be the degree of freedom for the T? That will be N minus one, a very important one. Next is test statistic furnishes. It furnishes the evidence for rejecting the null hypothesis, a very important. Next question is limiting property. It, whether it is, you will have to check, is, is it, unbiased, consistent, efficient or sufficient. We use the limiting property limit 
n approaches to infinity for variance of x bar that will be zero if we increase the sample size the variation becomes lesser and lesser and it comes close to zero the sample statistic which is x bar comes closer and closer to the population parameter that is the property of consistency limiting properties used for the consistency Consist consistency is the correct option next question is expectation of x i is given it is mu then expectation of a x1 plus 1 minus a x2 a is a constant a will be outside expectation of x1 plus 1 minus a expectation of x2 a mu plus 1 minus a mu mu will be common a plus 1 minus a these will be cancelled mu will be the correct option in the exam a very important one then Ridge regression is used for what? It is used for multicollinearity. And what is multicollinearity? When our aggressors have correlation among themselves, we have multicollinearity. Then trilinear chart is used for three variables, a very important one. Next question is median is the better average for the categorical data. Next is if we have mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 whenever we have the testing of more than two means then f test is used a very important one in the business cycle we have the decline when we have the recession then the next one is when we go to the field into the fields and we collect data from the villagers from the crop reporters from the villagers actually from all those farmers which sow the see who sow the seed that is called primary data because it has been collected originally then the next question is the smallest probability of rejecting the true null hypothesis that will be the p value you must comment on today's lecture assalamu alaikum